Welcome back once again to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna show you how we pour concrete for a walkway with stamp finish. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end because we're gonna show you the entire process of how we poured everything, worked the concrete, and how we stamped the surface. So that way you can obtain really nice and beautiful results like the ones you see here and we'll show you that in a little bit. If you want to learn how to set forms and pour all kinds of concrete work with the proper finishing techniques, then you're in the best place here on YouTube since that's all we do here at Eternal Rock Construction. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're going to be uploading. What you're seeing here is a two car driveway and a walkway that we're going to be pouring today. These are the stamp patterns that we're going to be utilizing. We rent these at our local supplier store and we got several of them in different shapes and sizes but the same pattern. This is the liquid release made from brick form that we're going to be applying to all the stamps and the concrete surface so that way they don't stick. And this is the tool, it's like a tamper that we're going to use to pound the stamp into the concrete. Since we own a, a concrete line pump, we're going to be pumping all of this area here. We have the line going through the walkway and the driveway connected there to the hopper and our reed b50 hp we're starting to pour over here on this side this walkway is approximately three foot wide and it has rebar at 48 inches on center as well as a driveway and we're basically just as we pour the concrete as close as we can to the surface we have a couple of come along rakes that are very helpful to remove any excess concrete like you see right there and right away we start using this screed board this one is a little bit longer than three feet and we just use that to glide it across the surface we're using the forms as a reference point we also have a couple shovels it's always good to have enough tools just to maneuver the concrete wherever you need it we have those hand floats that are they help us a lot you're able to pound you know the form right there we're doing that so that way the concrete will set right in that area and then we're just going to finish it off here with the screed board the nice thing about these is is they're very like you can move them in any direction that you want and that's pretty much it for that upper landing platform from there we're going to jump down here to this lower walkway it basically goes in two different directions this is the main house entry at the front and it comes out it ramps down towards the street and then it makes a turn right here towards the left going towards the driveway so you basically just scrape this screed board um, directly on top of the form and wherever you need a little bit of concrete you can move it or push it and immediately after we run the screed board we use this bull float this is a three foot wide bull float and we're just gliding that along the entire length of the walkway. We're also gonna be applying that the opposite direction. And that helps us just to further even out the surface and just give us a nice, a nice float. So once we do that, we also float the edges. So along with that bull float and the hand float, that's how we kind of get it all as close as possible. We're also pouring this two car uh, driveway size but i'm just showing you a little bit of this i'm not really going to focus too much on this pour because it's a pretty large one and i'm mainly going to be focusing on the walkway to show you guys how we pour it how we work it and then how we stamp it in the end but definitely check out some of our other videos i've uploaded quite a bit this year and there's there's a few different examples of different pours that we've done broom finish sand finish or whatever but continuing on with this walkway 
Another thing that we do right away is we run the edger tool along all of the four sides of the edge of the new concrete. This tool is pretty straightforward. You just put it right in between the concrete and the form and you just want to be really careful as you're gliding it back and forth. You want to try to just have it in one motion, trying not to stop and stop very much because it's going to, if you do that, it's going to like mark the concrete and it's best to just glide it as smoothly as you can. And so we're going to be doing that on all the corners. We also have these hand edger tools that help us get around like rounded edges or different things. So to work the edges, all you got to do is have a hand float and an edging tool like you see right here. And when, when you see that everything is perfectly um, evened out and straight, then you can just continue to do that. And it started to rain on us today. So we the good thing we have this plastic. It's like a painter's plastic that we put on top of the surface. Now, don't worry. I mean, today it only rained like up until like one o'clock or 12 ish. After that, thankfully, we didn't have any more rain. So we only needed to put this on for like 30 minutes or so and then we removed it and this is the results after we worked this we floated all of the surface we're working the edges right now since today it is kind of cold and it's really moist outside we're gonna have to let this concrete set for like two to three hours before we can even come back and do the stamping but in the meantime what we're doing here is we're just double checking all of the edges where there's areas that it's a little bit low or, or high or whatever we're smoothening all that out and then we have a, a trowel tool right here that we also run on the surface that's pretty much all you got to do you just want to have the surface be as smooth as possible like a trowel finish and then right here we're starting to cut all of the stakes um, a lot of the stakes you know they stick out so you're going to want to cut those to the level of the forms that way whenever you stamp the concrete those stakes won't be in the way but literally we had to wait like two or three hours to let this concrete firm up a little bit and set once it was ready then we came in with that liquid release brick form we just put that right on the surface and we also put it on the stamp now you're gonna see here that we have two different stamps this one this one is like an endless texture design we use this because there's certain areas where those hexagonal size or shape of stamps they don't fit in all of the areas so a good tip that you can do is use these texture skins as well you can rent those along with the other ones and that that way you can stamp like the edges that's what we're doing right here we stamp the left side right here we're stamping like all of the edges and that will help you so the texture will look more uniform and consistent even in the areas where you can't stamp it with the hexagonal shape um the the stone the stamps you know that we're going to use and you don't got to apply a lot of pressure like he's just applying like minimal to medium pressure and now we remove that one out of the way and we're going to put in we're going to start using these large stone textures uh stamps so we're just gonna place it right there along the edge as close as we can. And from there, we're just gonna strategically put all of the other stamps next to it as close as possible. You wanna just be careful, like he's right there. He's just trying to dry fit it as close as he can. So right there, it worked pretty good. And then he's gonna, he's gonna uh, move it so it's nice and tight to the next one. And then there's a, the third one. So there, now he can stamp it. And once you stamp it, you can move it on to the next position. So like that blue one right there, now he's stamping that yellow one. Then that, uh, that blue one that was uh, on the other corner, he can move it over here to this corner, wherever is best. And you just want to make sure you take your time so that way it fits properly. And as long as you have it like nice and tight and you just hold it in place, then it's always good to have someone else to help you hold it like, like they're doing right here. And then you stamp it and voila. That's how you get those results with very professional look. And even if you have to come back, you can do that. 
just want to make sure that you keep the same like put in the same layout but like you see right here it came out really beautiful this upper landing with that large stone pattern you can see all of the lines the texture on the top is defined that that textured um, endless skin that we put you can't even you can't even tell it goes really great that's the one that you see right there that they're stamping along that edge so that goes perfectly in combination with those other hexagonal shape random stone patterns so right there after they they put that one first then they, they're doing this ones right here so the nice thing about these is they they kind of interlock with each other you just stamp them there you keep adding on to it you add more and wherever there's like an empty spot you just move it from that side to the front and you just continue that process until you get all the way through the walkway but one thing you always want to make sure before you keep moving forward is you want to spray that release on all of the concrete surface that you're going to be stamping this will help so that way the stamps won't stick to the surface and you're just going to get the actual um you know the the stamping going on and nothing weird you know because if you were to just stamp it on dry regular concrete then it you may have a chance that it will stick or things like that so if you do this you're going to obtain these kind of results like you see right here it's starting to come out really beautiful even the homeowner came out and he was loving it you know like we let them know that with a walkway like this you need to wait a few days before you can walk on it to enjoy it and on a driveway we need to wait about seven days so the concrete can cure and then you can drive on it but so right here we're about halfway through this side of the walkway that leads from the main entry to the driveway and uh, this is the results that we're getting so far um, this concrete we they actually added color to the mix so that's why you see it it's a little bit of a medium darker gray so that in combination with the stamp it's just gonna be such a beautiful uh, turnout and uh, no matter what the situation is like right here you see how the walkway opens up to the left and to the right that's not a problem as long as you continue like you see the yellow the blue and the red th those three stamps they're gonna stay in that position and that's gonna help us to work around it and uh, you just want to make sure whenever you rent it that you get enough like right there we're stamping the face of the of the landing over there and uh, and then from there we're just gonna focus on the rest of this uh, walkway area we're actually gonna be saw cutting the joints tomorrow and also stripping all the forms and cleaning up the job site we decided to do that especially on a stamp this is the results of the driveway that we just poured today with broom finish and it leads to these concrete stamped walkway that we're stamping this is a closer up of the surface you can see each one of the stones it has the texture on top and I mean we really love this design it's gonna be really great addition to this front of the house area and uh, if you follow this process you're gonna be able to obtain the same kind of professional results that you see right here we hope you like this video please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're gonna be uploading here in our company at eternal rock construction all we do is poured concrete work so we do anything from walkways to driveways steps retaining walls you know we do regular broom finish stamp finish sand exposed aggregate finish anything that you can think of we can definitely do it so we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video May God bless you and we'll see you soon.